For the past couple of years, the Internet has been buzzing with stories of just such a mysterioso linkage between Hollywood's 1939 Munchkin classic, The Wizard of Oz, and, this is the mysterioso part, Pink Floyd's 1973 art rock monument, The Dark Side of the Moon. This may sound like pure bongwash, but the story went mainstream this week, and, well, it really is kind of strange. Take a look. thing about the Wizard of Oz dark side of the moon phenomenon that's been going around is that it's been going around for quite a while. I heard from another source that it's been known about on the Pink Floyd news group since 1994. I did get a call from a girl who said, you know, 18 years ago I went to a party where some guy tried this and it worked. Who first discovered this phenomenon and when remains a mystery. But Boston disc jockey George Taylor Morris touched off a national frenzy recently when he mentioned on air the bizarre correlation between Pink Floyd's 1973 album Dark Side of the Moon and the 1939 movie classic The Wizard of Oz. I just mentioned it just briefly on the air that if you play The Dark Side of the Moon against The Wizard of Oz as a soundtrack, all of these amazing coincidences happen. Here's how it works. Play The Wizard of Oz from the top and wait for the MGM lion to appear. Immediately following the lion's third roar, start Dark Side of the Moon. Turn the stereo up and the TV down. You'll know if you're in sync if producer Mervyn Leroy's credit hits on the musical transition as follows. Now simply kick back and judge for yourself both the lyrical and musical synchronicity. Balanced on the biggest wave, race towards an ungrave. I'll tell you, the thing that totally blew me away out of all of the coincidences that seem to happen is when Great Gig in the Sky is on and the tornado is whirling. The movie took on a completely different feel for me there. And coming up, we have actually one of the best transitions here. As it goes to color, uh, Money comes up, which is the next song. As near as I've been able to determine, it's pretty much a cosmic coincidence. There simply weren't the mechanics to do it. We had no, uh, we had no means of, uh, of playing videotapes um, in, the, in the room at all. I don't think VHS has come along by 72, had it? It doesn't seem like there's a lot of evidence to support that it's intentional. But that, that certainly doesn't undermine how, how cool it is to sit in, and watch it. So far, the only comment from the Floyd camp on all of this has come from drummer Nick Mason, who says, quote, it's absolute nonsense. It has nothing to do with The Wizard of Oz. It was all based on the sound of music. Presumably he's joking, although with Nick it's hard to know sometimes. By the way, to further explore the dark side of Oz, check in with MTV Online.